Hey, it's the Midnight Raven and this is a start of a new series on my channel called The Graveyard Journals. So thank you to everybody that commented on my community post and has picked the name of this series. There were a few others that wanted other names, but The Graveyard Journals won. Now, what will this series entail? So in this episode, we are just going to monologue slightly. We're going to chill, we're going to sit, it's going to be about a 10 minute video um, of just me and my thoughts. Now if that's not your cup of tea, then um, that is fine. If this is your kind of thing, do remember to like and subscribe and please, if you can, give it a thumbs up, share it out. Um, so, let's get into a topic, shall we? So. Let's start off with probably the, the the main aspect of this entire series, and that is why we are filming in a graveyard. That is a very good question. It is a question that I get asked a lot about filming in graveyards. Is it appropriate? Is it non-appropriate? Should you be filming in graveyards? Is there somewhere else you could film in your area that's more appropriate? And this is going to be the reason why. So I have always had a connection to death. Now I know you're going to say, well, everyone's going to die eventually. Yes, yes we are. But I've always had a connection to death. As a child, I dated a funeral director's son. I have seen everything from embalming to cremations to burials to um, all the ins and outs of what happens to you after you die and throughout my life I have also worked in a care home I've witnessed people die I've witnessed people dying I've had to clean dead bodies I've had to send them off in um, coroner um, vans and stuff like that I've always had a connection to death but before all of that came along, when I was a child and I was sort of 11 and 12 and I had a rough life, I found solace in going to the church and just sitting in the graveyard and just listening to the world around you go by. Um, and I felt at peace. I felt calm. I felt peaceful. You could hear the birds. Maybe you'd hear some traffic. But you didn't hear people. And I think sometimes a lot of people talk and there's talky, talky, talky everywhere you go. Every bus, street, house, there's always someone talking, saying something, wanting you to hear something. But you come to a graveyard and it's still, you might get the old tweety bird, you might hear a car in a distance, but it's background noise. It's not intense in your face take notice, listen, be present. You can literally come to a graveyard and you can just zone out. You can take your own thoughts and your own feelings and just for a minute, listen to the background noise instead of being in with the noise and that everything else around you is just calm. Even the birds themselves are tweeting but it is kind of serene and you do get the most beautiful scenery in a graveyard you get ducks we get squirrels i've seen hedgehogs uh peacocks uh rabbits you name it i've seen it and there's nothing more serene than sitting in a graveyard at night and watching a few bunnies just dancing around in the moonlight you'll have seen that from my lives before now, people all say, well, as you're so switched on when it comes to death, you've, you've been to morgues, you've seen deaths, you've been to burials, you've, you've watched someone die, um, you've washed a dead body, you've done all of this, you spend your life fixated on graveyards. Are you yourself afraid of death? And the answer would be yes. You would be stupid if you didn't fear something that you couldn't A, control, or B, would understand why you're being taken at that point. Um, P 
people will spend days and days wondering um, when they've had a bad day, you know, am I going to die tomorrow? Could I walk out in front of a bus? And there are some people that do have that worry of constantly, it's a fear of dying. You know, if you leave your house, will you get hit by a bus? If you stay at home, could you fall down the stairs? Um, if you go to work, could you get injured? There is a fear, and I can't remember what it's called, but there is a fear of death. Um, and I think it's a fear that not a lot of people talk about, but you do live with it daily. Because every day on Earth is a day closer to death. From the minute you are born, you are slowly, ineffectively, dying. Which is a strange phenomena to have, that you are born on this planet for a limited time based on many factors. Health, the environment, uh, the world around you, choices you make, choices other people make. Um, so you can never really say, well, I'm going to live 80 years, I'm going to live 100 years. You may not live past tomorrow. And that is why the saying, live every day like it's your last or laugh every minute, you know, is so potent in this day and age that there are so many things exterior in your life that can cause a knock-on effect or can cause you know a ricochet from you being fine to things not being fine whether it's you losing your job being in an accident becoming sick having a loved one ill losing somebody a lot of things can create turmoil stress worry um, which can affect your health, your well-being, you could lose your job due to stress, you could lose friendships, relationships, partners, or you could die yourself from the stress. It is not unfound to die from stress. Stress is probably one of the main causes in life, apart from, you know, genetics being like cancer, something like that. Stress can be such a bad thing on your heart, your mind, your well-being, and just your day-to-day -day life can just, getting out of bed can just feel like a chore. So why a graveyard? My question would be, why not? It's peaceful, it's quiet, there's barely anyone around, you can be in your own thoughts, you can say your feelings out loud, no one's judging you, no one's there to say no, no one's there to be biased or judgmental or, or want to sway your opinion you are just with your own thoughts in your own mind in a graveyard so I would say that it is the perfect place to just contemplate and just to think after losing three people in the last four months I would say <laughs> that being here makes me closer to them even though they're actually buried in different graveyards um, and it would be hard to visit all three every single month um, but coming to a graveyard I can still think of them and it gives me a connection to them um, if you didn't know I lost my best friend of 27 years I've lost my uncle and then recently I also lost my next door neighbour one of my neighbours died too, so I've had a lot of death in the last couple of months and coming here gives me more of a connection to people I've lost. And it might seem silly, it might seem a bit crazy, but I've always had a solemn, macabre kind of life that fits around graveyards, cemeteries and death. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up liking and subscribing if you want to stay tuned for more graveyard journals please consider becoming a member as well because i might do some members only journals uh, that are a bit more private but um yeah consider liking and subscribing and if you like this video share it out maybe we can all somehow become a bit closer to death and understand death just that little bit more and i will see you all very soon have a wonderful evening and stay living for as long as you can. Thanks for watching. The Graveyard Journals with the Midnight Raven. Episode 1. Bye guys.